Hi, I'm Beth Stewart, and I am the Executive Director of Redress Raleigh. We are a nonprofit focused on sustainable fashion advocacy. Basically, our mission is to create a more positive, um, sustainable fashion industry, and we do that by educating and mobilizing consumers to be more positive advocates while leveraging industry partnerships. So today we're in front of the Museum of History in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina, and we are excited to show you our tracking textiles display. So come on in and we'll talk a little bit more about what that is. We chose the supply chain of textiles as our subject because we wanted to do somewhat of an overview of the complex textiles industry, but in a way that was distilled down that most people could understand it, any people who are not in the industry. So we wanted to break it into separate pieces and show people in each category kind of what they can do on their own as an individual to reduce their impact and showing that from the beginning to the end of creation of the clothing. The display is at the Museum of History in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina, and it is free and open to the public. So the tracking textiles display um, started with two main things that happened. Uh, one was discussing putting this up at the Museum of History. Um, if you don't know, the Museum of History actually has a pretty extensive textiles archive. Um, hopefully they'll do some more exhibits in the future about that. Um, but they were excited about putting this up originally for the 50th anniversary of Earth Day in 2020. As we know, COVID happened, but now we're back in April 2021, and we get to have it up this year. The second thing that happened was that we reached out to Point Concepts, which is a professional exhibit designer, and they actually found this recycled frame for us to use, um, and we designed the exhibit based on that particular layout. Hi everyone, my name is Carrie Holtz, and I work with Redress Raleigh. I'm the um, communications committee chair, and I helped design our display. So I'm here to tell you a little bit more about it. So we chose these, I think it's seven categories, um, farming and sourcing fibers, production, dyeing, cut and sew, retail, wear and use, and disposal, because these are some of the major categories when we think about the textile supply chain. And these areas, you know, Redress Raleigh has been around for over a decade now, and during that time, we found that um, our audience has asked a lot of questions about these various points along the textile supply chain. We used um, a variety of reputable sources, but one of the main ones that we used was Labor Behind the Labor. And they are a UK-based nonprofit organization that focuses on workers' rights. So you can see down here at the very bottom where we reference um, their website where you can learn more about the things that are on this display. We were so excited to be able to partner with Spoonflower for these interactive flap portions of the display. We've been had a relationship with Spoonflower for many years, um, and we were excited because um, they now have a 50% recycled polyester fabric, which we've used here on the display. Um, each yard of the fabric is made out of 10 recycled plastic bottles. So, and you can see it's such cool quality, it's um, really sturdy, and that's why we were excited to be able to use it here, because it's the perfect thing to use for something that's going to see a lot of interactive traffic. We also worked with a scrap exchange that's located in Durham, and they provided us with the perfect colors that we needed uh, 
to incorporate here on our frame. And then over here in our um, disposal section, we incorporated um, upcycle fabric that they gave to us. What we hope that people get from this display is, you know, at least a few ways that you can reduce your impact um, at each point along the supply chain. And so what we hope people will do is scan this QR code here and download a pledge graphic and make a pledge to reduce your fashion footprint. And here you can see some examples of things that you could pledge, things that you might be able to answer after visiting the display. It's relatively simple, even for like technologically um, <laughs> not competent people like myself. So you go up to the QR code and the phone should automatically pull it up. See how it says up here, open website in Safari. And you click on that and it is linked to our website. And here you can scroll down, think about what you're going to say, and then download multiple different pledge graphics. But if you click on the image, it will pull it up and then hold your thumb down and see how it says share, add to photos or copy. You can pick one of those things to share to Instagram or add to your photos, all those types of things.